Look at the golden chicken! The golden chicken! <laughs>Afternoon, evening. It is Alexis Arcade, and today is a beautiful day to not be outside, but instead to continue our journey here on Arcadia server for Ark Survival Evolved. Um, this area might look familiar to you guys actually because it's literally in the same place that the community center was on the Primitive Plus server. I suggested we start here just because I know it's a safe area on the center. I'm not super familiar with the center map even though I played on it for a little bit. I still get lost all the time. I was actually just telling the guys that like I feel like this map is backwards for some reason even though I know it's not compared to the other center map. Like I'm clearly losing my mind. But anyway, for today's order of business, I think what we're going to do is because you know what? Like I usually make a thatch hut and then like we build in the same place for a while until I get a flyer. Well, I stole a flyer <laughs> that somebody had already tamed. That one over there named Arcadia, I, I stole that. And they said I could have it because they tamed a bunch up for the general population anyway. But what I think we're going to do is I think I'm going to build a boat. And I think we're going to live out of a boat for a while because a few guys actually do that. Like that's what they do is they get they build a boat and then they like float around until they find a place. And I've never really built a boat here before. And I think it's kind of a neat way to like, uh, I don't know, get around. So I've got some wood <laughs> thatch on me. Definitely don't think it's enough for a raft. Um, I actually, I don't even know if I'm high enough level for a raft. Okay, I am. Do I need to learn? I don't need to learn wooden raft to learn the big wooden raft. Okay. What do I need to make it? 125 that is cheap for a big big wooden raft all right let's see if there's anything in this house that i can snag don't worry i'll replace it and we've got auto doors that's so nice okay got some fiber or excuse me hide and fiber i don't think that's enough fiber nope nope okay i'm gonna finish getting some fiber and then i will come back in and we will build the boat and then what i'm going to do obviously is like build out kind of like joe's boat down there uh, i'm gonna monkey puzzle has a video to for tips on how to like make your boat with um, foundations that are even with the boat, if that makes any sense. I'll put a link to the bottom bar below, and then you'll see it when I actually start building it. Um, so let me finish. Get actually, I probably have enough fiber now, don't I? Because I rambled on enough. Yes, I got a boat. I got a boat. I got a boat. Let's get down off this hill. Oh, we're building the boat. That's why we're going so slow. I can't wait for this experience we're going to get out of it. Let's watch this. Our XP on this server is four times, by the way. Um, so don't be like, oh, yeah. So one level we will put into stamina. Okay, just one level, but that's still pretty solid. Where are we at now? Oh, we're so close to another level. Sweet. Okay, let's go ahead and put our boat in the water. Excuse me, Dodo, if you don't mind. And what do I do? Do I just put it here and do this? <laughs> yes, I do. Oh, I'm so excited. And there's that other level. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. So now I need to get stuff to build foundations to put on here. And I think I want to do stone foundations just because it's a lot more sturdier. So I'm going to go get some stone. <laughs> oh, that's a good sight to see. And build some foundations. And then when I'm back, I will try to accomplish what Monkey Puzzle successfully accomplishes in his video. <laughs> so I will be right back. Look at the golden chicken. The golden chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it goes. I think it's part of the auto mod, the auto feed mod, or the food trough, or whatever. The, the, just, the, yeah, the food trough. But, I don't know, it cracks me up every time I see it, and I'm really, uh, yeah, it uh, makes me giggle. Anyway, I just got all the stuff for the foundations for the big raft, um, and I'll put it on. I just wanted to show you the giant piece of chicken. Or turkey leg, if you want to call it turkey leg. Okay, you guys, I have enough supply, I think, hopefully, fingers crossed, to get this process going to make the foundations level with the boat after watching Monkey Puzzle's video. So as you can see, I started out with this foundation and two pillars. Let me go ahead, actually, and do this for you. Um, right where the sail is, as center as I could possibly make it. That way, everything doesn't end up all wonky and that kind of thing. And then what you do is you build up two pillars, and you snap a ceiling to the second, the center of the second pillar. And then you go over one that's a foundation floating and then you put another pillar here and then you put another foundation you snap the foundation to the pillar not the foundation next to it so if it wants to like chill out oh no it snapped wrong and then we'll try that one more time okay just just relax no stop doing that you you guys saw i had it i had it right it it, it did its own thing 
Okay, there we go. And then like essentially you just repeat this process until your foundation is lower and lower and lower and it's flush. So I'm not gonna spend the time doing that here on the video. I will link Monkey Puzzles again below. That way you guys can go and watch the full thing if you're not familiar with it. Um, but I'll go ahead and get this done and I will be right back. Okay, so I think I might I might need to go down one more level, but I just wanna try it anyway. And so we are going to put down this guy and this guy, and I guess the way to tell if you can drive is to whether or not it will let you drive right away, and this will not let me drive right away. So that means that I need to go down a level, or maybe even a few, because that seems like it's still really high up. But then again, I think it looked like Monkey Puzzles was far, uh, farther out of the ground. But the tip to this is don't use expensive materials when you're trying to lower your foundations. Just use the thatch and wood, because it's it's kind of expensive it's not if you use thatch and wood but like it still is at the same time if that makes any sense um so i'm gonna go ahead and work on lowering my boat one more and then if that's not low enough then lowering it one more again so i will be right back i did it look you guys i've got it all flush and it's all nice and neat that's not without any problem though i had an issue where like i couldn't at, like this specific one said it needed support foundation support even though there was support and I had to like rebuild that little structure that you used to lower it and then have the two foundation that were thatch at the time but now are stone and then like it suddenly works and I'm not sure but look 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 it's drivable woohoo woohoo all right so now what I'm going to do though is I'm going to extend it as far as we can why does this view look weird what was I standing on was I standing on the, 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 the steering wheel? This isn't, is this, this isn't right, is it? Maybe I just haven't driven enough boats and I'm confused. All right, well, we'll go with it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to drive myself back to shore and then extend it as far out as we can because I think that's plenty space, plenty big. And um, that is if I can learn how to drive a boat. This is going to be great, you guys. <laughs> all right, I'll be back uh, when it's all big and stuff. All right, so I may have made my raft massive. <laughs> I definitely don't think we need it this big. And the shape of it is really weird. So I'm going to trim down these edges, maybe like one, I guess, uh, on each side. And then I'm debating if I want to like actually house this off and make it like a mobile house or just like put railings on it. There's, there's one right over there. Here, I'll pop it up this way to see if you can see it and I like how he did that that way you can kind of like see as you drive because I've been on um a boat that John has had before <laughs> that like you couldn't really see as you drove it was kind of like oh we're just gonna drive around and hope for the best at least if I'm remembering correctly that's how it went um so I think it'd be neat to maybe put some railings around and then I well I could actually build rooms on the sides but I still think this is way too big for that so once I get this one, we'll K out and see again. Yeah, that seems to be a little, a little bit better. So, mm, I'm not sure. I'm not. Oh, I can't move. Oh, oh, this is terrible. This is not a good place to not move on my raft. Because if I drop stuff, I might go overboard. But actually, there's really nothing dangerous in the water this close, I don't think. I hope not. Um, anyway, so I'm going to wait till morning and figure out this... This problem that's not really a problem. Oh no, I made my raft too big. And then uh, I'll be back. Did you guys know what I'm about to show you? Okay, hold on. So look, I can snap this here. That you can snap these on rail on ramps? I wonder if it's because this is an S plus ramp and not a regular ramp. Hold on, let's test this. Let's test this with the regular ramp. My mind is about to be blown if you can do this with the regular ramp. All right, ramps that work, regular ramp. Oh my, like that's so cool. That's, ah, okay. Got a regular ramp and we'll get all of our weight off of us and then go over to, I don't know, we'll put it like right. Obstructed, all right. Well, if I put it there, I can't quite, there we go. And then five. No, so you can't do it with a regular ramp, but you can do it with an S plus ramp. Oh my gosh. That just, that made me so excited because I was like, oh, it might look a little weird with no ramps around or no railings around the ramps, but I was like, but when I saw that, oh, it just, oh, it looks so good. And obviously I decided to just put railings around my boat because I was like, wait, I guess I don't really need a house on a boat because I can put railings around and then like store everything. 
Yeah. Oh, jeez. And apparently put the railings in the wrong spot. So anyway, still waiting for morning. Ooh, that's a nice sky. This artifacting is driving me like seriously nuts though. I've been having problems with, and I asked other people, so I'm not the only one getting it. And I've seen it in a few other YouTubers videos with the artifacting, but like, I don't know what's going on. It's, it's so frustrating because it just, it should run better than that. Anyway, I digress, gonna finish up. Okay, so <laughs> if you saw that there was a Bronto right there that was just eaten by these Carnos, well, I was trying to pick up some eggs that had dropped and I accidentally <laughs> punched it and therefore it aggroed on me. But thankfully we had all these wonderful dinosaurs over here to kill it. And it didn't kill me or hurt anybody. It did kill a Dodo though, unfortunately. We lost to Dodo in the battle. But other than that, everything went swimmingly. So I can't complain, but I wanted to show you the body because I sat here and like panicked as I was watching everything attack. I was like, oh no, I've killed everything. Um, so now let's just like bring everybody back over here. But I have unbound all call because I have a really bad habit of doing that. Wait, did I? Yeah, I did. All right, so I'll, I'll take care of that in a second. Um, I was just bringing the one dino over here. I do need to get a few more things for the boat, but let me update you on what it looks like real, real quick. Running as fast as I can. My movement speed is still really slow on here. As you can see, I was like turning around to take the boat. It's not all sand, but I've got some mortar and pestles, some crates, a forge. This is actually the S plus forge, and apparently it pulls resources from nearby like the uh, thing so that's really neat and I need to make a bed and a smithy and I think that might be it for our boat house um so yeah let me I'm just gonna take the boat and I I hopped on other boats to like ride them around and see if this was the view can you guys let me know whether or not this is new like the new way to ride the boat or if there's just something wonky uh going on here because it's just it's like weird like I'm like flying above my boat to drive it um, cause I was watching, when I was watching Monkey Puzzle's video on how to like do the, the thing, he, when he was riding it, you could like see behind him like a third person view or something. Um, I thought I had enable third person view. Oh, well, it's enable first person view for dinosaurs, right? I don't know. I'm obviously doing something wrong, but, uh, or if this is the new mechanic, just let me know. Anyway, gonna get the rest of the stuff going and, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! -hoo! Okay, we are officially sea bound. I got everything that I need on here. You see the bed, a preserving bin, a fire, a forge, all the crates, a smithy. I can't think of anything else that I'm missing. But yeah, I'm so excited. This is so awesome. I think we're just going to essentially like, I don't know, boat around until we find a good place to set up. Uh... I, the, the spot I actually originally wanted was inland by a really nice pond, but now, I don't know, I'm feeling, well, okay, so here's the thing. We were beachy on the center on Primitive Plus, so maybe I don't want to go beachy. I really did like that inland place, but then I, I don't think there's anywhere nearby for my boat, and I want a place for my boat. Man, this boat is slow, though. I wish you could pump speed on my boat. Like, can I level my boat up? <laughs> That'd be great. Um, but anyway, on the next episode, I do need a bird. So we're going to try to get an RG. I actually don't have any weapons on me right now. Uh, I wanted to focus on getting a house going. And yeah, I like my little mobile house. And um, so I don't I don't have any weapons. I don't have any dinos yet. Uh, all my patrons are like eons ahead of me. It's awesome. Um, so, but yeah, but that is our tentative plan. So birds next and then maybe a next resting location. And then we're going to play around with some more mods. Like I still have my stormtrooper helmet on, but there's actually a bunch of new cute hairs in the mod, like new hairstyles and stuff um, or masks if you prefer. So we might play around with those later because it's probably one of my favorite mods. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode and I hope you are. Well, I mean, there's only been two episodes in the arcade server so far. But I hope you guys are excited for the revamp, revamp as I am. Um, if you guys like the video, please leave a comment or a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. That way you know when I put out a new video. And I will talk to you later. Ahoy!